Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. My is Chanel. So today I'm doing an all affordable glam drugstore fall makeup look. Let's see me go from this to this. Stay tuned. Alright, so I'm priming with my BH Cosmetics primers. I'm using two today. I'm using the foundation primer and then I'm gonna apply the anti shy one shine one to the center of my face because that's where I have more pores and I produce more oils. This foundation's a bomb. I'm mixing this two Maybelline foundation. It's a Superstay one and it's the Urban Cover one. The Urban Cover is a newer release for Maybelline. The Superstay one is darker. I just wanted to lighten, um, darken the color just a tad. This foundation is bomb AF. It's full coverage and it's very light and that's the type of foundation that I've been gravitating to lately. I wore this, found this foundation from 11 a.m. to 3 a.m. the next day. Of course, it disappeared certain places, but because it's so light, it wasn't obvious it just stayed and just looked really nice at the end of my day i wore it for more than 12 hours and it was amazing check it out i'm gonna just color correct with this elf camo concealer just underneath my eyes it's a little bit more on the red side so i'm just gonna get rid of the discoloration underneath my eyes and also add a little extra coverage i'm testing off this new morphe one i haven't tried it before um I'll tell you how I feel about it another time. I like my foundations to get tacky before I actually go in. It just gives you more coverage in the long run. And I'm blending it out with my brush and then my sponge. I'm gonna contour using my ColourPop stick foundation. I love this for my contour, I've been using it forever. And I'm buffing that into my skin. This is just gonna get rid of, it's just gonna add, give you that three dimensional look that you want when you're doing your makeup. So now I'm using the ColourPop um, no filter powder, I think. I don't like this powder too, too much for really just setting my face off to go. But I think it works well as a highlighting powder. Like after you would have set your concealer, you go over with a little bit of that for a little extra brightening. It works great that way. I'm going to set my cream contour with my Morphe contour palette. And this is a glam look. And if you want to be glam, you just got to go all the way. There's no cutting corners. You just got to do it if you want to look glam. My brows, I'm going to brush my brow hairs upwards. I'm using my Maybelline Tattoo Brow. I've been loving this pomade lately. It's a gel cream. It's really like a tattoo. It stays in place. And I feel like when I use it, I don't really have to go in and set my brows with my got to be gel. It like just keeps it in place all day. And I like that. So it's like an extra step that I don't have to do. Oh my god, this is my favorite palette of all time. It's the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I love this palette so much. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> so I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to start with the color. What color is that one? Um, Roxanne. That's going to be my transition shade. I'm going to apply that in my transition area with a fluffy brush and diffuse the color nicely so that I can create a nice base and gradient for the other colors that I'm going to go with over top. Taking my Jeffree and Morphe palette and I'm taking this sort of orange shade and just going over the edges of the first color just to add a little more definition, just a little more something, just a little oomph that orange did to the look. It's not, it's subtle, but it's there. I'm going back with Jaclyn Hill and I'm taking the color Chip. It's a dark brown and I'm using her brushes as well. I'm not familiar with the numbers as, as yet. I'm, I may list them in the description box, but I'm applying that in my crease and I'm buffing it into the first color that I use to create nice gradient, nice transition, all the good stuff, everything you need for a bomb ass eyeshadow beat. I'm taking Almay eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow <laughs> in Outer Woods as a base for the other color that I want to put over top. It's just going to create this, this dimension when you layer colors over colors and it's also going to give your makeup look, your eyeshadow look longevity. I'm taking Mix and I'm going to set that, um, that cream base down. 
I'm using a fluffy shadow brush because I don't want to be too defined with it and then I'm going over and I'm going to use a clean blending brush and blend it I don't want it to be too defined I like the more effortless looking blown out looks this color is bomb. I, I, I think I bought the palette for this color. It's a pressed pigment, a pressed glitter pigment. I've never felt anything like that. It's amazing. It's awesome, amazing. And I just applied a little bit of that with my finger. I feel like it works best when you use your finger. So I want a really smoked out black bottom lash. So I use my Maybelline Gel Liner as a base. And I'm going to set that in with Jax from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I'm going to go in and buff it off so it can be more blended and more blown out. I'm using this as my blush today. I wanted something on this peachy side. And I feel like it complemented the look very well. So I'm using my um, Dare to Create palette from Morphe and I'm using that as my blush. I'm going to set my face with my um, L'Oreal Shake and Glow. This, this is a really, really nice, fine mist product. It's, it's not like going to leave your face greasy, just going to give your skin that skin-like feel in the long run. And I'm also going to go for that with a matte setting spray from Milani because I do have combination skin and I focus that to the center of my face. I'm priming my lashes with a primer, my bottom lashes. And I'm, while it dries, I'm taking this Morphe pigment, glitter pigment, and I'm planning to like... Uh, the first third of my inner corner of my bottom lashes just for a little extra pop of something then I'm going over my lashes now that the primer has dried with my Rimmel lash accelerator when my lashes dry I'm applying Colourpop pearl next to um, lip liquid lipstick and then I'm gonna pop on some lashes that I bought from shop miss a a dollar a pair and I felt like these lashes went really well with the look. I don't like big, big lashes. My face is too small for big, big lashes. These ones have just enough drama and length for me. And they're cheap AF. One dollar. Check out Shop Miss A. So, one final trick. This is a Scott Bonds trick. I'm taking this, like, sort of paint brush. And I'm going to apply some of that dark shade right in the crease of my eye in the outer V. It's just going to give it a little extra smokiness. And I'm also going to do that to the bottom lashes of my eyes. It's just going to add, it's subtle, but it looks, it creates a nice effect. And I like that. My fall makeup look, you guys my all affordable fall glam drugstore look i hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up like comment share all that good stuff it really helps and i really really appreciate it if you subscribe and i wish you do please ring the bell i will leave the links to all my social media platforms and how to book me i am a nail technician and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn so be sure to follow me on my Instagram um, follow me on my social media platforms and see my work until then let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and I'll see you in my next tutorial next week bye guys